welcome back y'all we are back on the channel we are now working on our grill guard for the f-250 uh, what we're currently doing right now which i did not film is we are painting the top of the mirrors white but that is just like any other video that we've done is just painting the mirrors what we're doing right now is i'm getting this thing prepped for some led lights so what we are planning on doing is in so this is your section for headlights this is your grill this is all your stuff what i want to do is i'm making i have a test bracket that i made to go right here so what what i'm going to do is this whole thing has to be sanded down as you can see we got some rust and stuff on it but what my idea is is a plate right there welded to this bar and welded to that main hoop that sits right in that area just like that boom like that so that we can in turn mount two of these one right there and one right there so that we can mount two lights outside of the grill um because this portion gets real tight up against the bumper so you can't really set it behind it so we're going to set it in front so it doesn't really matter uh where they're placed so we got the bracket test fitted um what we're going to do is we're going to jump over and make a second bracket for the other side because they're identical of course then what we're going to do is we will grind we got to grind all this uh black powder coat off anyways for new paint but we are going to grind it all off and get it ready so we can actually weld this piece to it so that it makes a solid connection and we'll do the same thing on the other side and then once that's done and welded then we'll start stripping the entire uh grill guard and all that stuff for prep for paint but right now we need to get the other bracket cut and everything ground down so we have all of our area that we're gonna prep and work in already um ground down we used a little uh sanding wheel you can see how well it fits what we're gonna do we're gonna tack this up into place on either side and then uh let that sit and then we're going to fully weld it all the way around so that it makes it completely sturdy so let's get this thing tacked up and into place we have that all welded up and in place what we're going to do is clean up the a uh, little bit of uh spaddle on there and then what we're going to do is we're going to start mounting our lights where we want them so we want them one right there and one right there um what we'll do is we'll figure out the mounting for the um the bracket and mark our holes and drill them on either side once we do that then we can spray it with some self etching primer so that it won't rust or anything as you can see today is kind of wet and muggy and moist outside so uh we don't want this to start uh rust and it will rust in hours it'll you'll come out and it'll be rusty so uh we want to make sure we protect that and get that ready so that once we clean up the whole grill get everything going then we can actually get it ready for paint so let's um start marking up the holes and figuring out all of that so the last thing you saw us do was mount up and i think start to prime our uh exposed areas we have all our led light mounting uh 
plates made. So what we're gonna end up doing is it's gonna have one spotlight right there and then one floodlight mounted over here. So it's gonna be four lights total on the front, two on either side. What we have to do now is we have to drill our holes for our mounting so that we get exactly where we want each light to sit and how we want it to project out. So we are gonna mark some holes and start drilling. Because once we start drilling, then we can sand our entire thing and start getting it prepped and ready for paint. So guys, we have all four lights mounted up. As you can see, uh, it's just, you know, we, we still need to adjust them once they get on the truck. We'll, you know, hook them up, turn them on, adjust them so that the light pattern is perfect. But they all adjust, of course, you know, they all, you know, move and stuff like that. So our next thing is we need to sand, take all the lights off. We need to sand the entire thing and get it primed and ready for paint cleaned up and everything perfect so uh let's pull these lights off and let's start sanding the entire grill so what i'm having to do guys is in this like mesh area you can see the powder coat is literally just peeling off because there's surface rust underneath. So what we're having to do is take it all the way down to the bare metal uh, on, on these pieces, on this open honeycomb, so that we can get a good base. We don't want to try to prime or paint over this. It's going to look bad, and it's also going to just immediately peel. So... We're having to sand it all the way down and what we'll do is once we sand this side, we'll flip it over, we'll do the other side and then we'll hit it with some self-etching primer so that it won't rust. But let's finish up sanding this and time lapse it guys. It is primed and we primed it with self etching primer um, because of the bare metal and the, the little bit of powder coat that was left but as you can see we have our first layer of self etching green primer and it looks amazing so we're going to let it um, cure pop off do its thing and then we're gonna come back with some high build uh, primer in gray to cover this and a little 
little bit of the spots over here and there, but there's not many. As you can see, this thing's like fantastic. So, um, we will uh, let this cure, spray our next coat of high build and all that stuff, then let that sit, and then hopefully tomorrow we will be able to spray the actual color on it. My plan is down here where this goes under the bumper, right past here. We're gonna tape that off and we're gonna paint that black that goes under so that we have a nice cut point. Right now we have everything kind of chilling on this one board, which it works. So as you can see, everything is primed and we did a white primer because we're doing a tan paint, the Arizona tan to match the truck. So a white primer gives us a nice, base and we have our paint we're trying our paint from um o'reilly's so we'll see how this stuff actually works it's the first time using it um so i don't know how it covers or how it paints or anything like that but we're gonna start and we're gonna get all our um cracks crevices all that stuff we'll get all that with our first coat one light coat over everything and we'll see how this lays First coat is down. Looks good. It covers amazingly. This paint actually covers really, really well. I, I didn't think it was going to be coverage that well but as you can see this is a first coat and it looks fantastic um it actually looks the part and the colors almost spot on i believe i don't know we won't know till we actually put it on the car but um it looks good so we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back for coat number two we have our second coat down and as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic, guys. It looks exactly how I wanted it, and it comes super close to what the car color is. Um, we won't know that till we actually get it out and, and mount it up, but that is for another video, guys. But we are done. The um, Girl Guard is painted. All we have to do now is to let it dry and set up and then we are ready to install and install is super easy it's two bolts on either side the only difficult part is that it's super heavy and it needs at least two people plus to lift it bolt everything up get everything lined up and everything like that but that is another video we are done thanks for watching like comment subscribe if you need any information i'm gonna put some links down in the description for the paint that i use and primer and all that kind of stuff and a link to the lights as well in case you want to get the same exact lights guys i will see you next time enjoy